And that is why my most favorite shape is the rectangle. Okay, that was very good, Jeremy. Now, now, Caleb, can you go ahead with your presentation, please? Yeah, okay. The way that the U.S. government has handled the situation in North Korea is a disgrace. Hey, well, well, Caleb, Caleb, what? What? Well, the presentation's supposed to be about your favorite shape. What's that about? Oh, well, my dad packed my bag this morning, so maybe he accidentally gave me his paper and took mine. What does your dad do for a living, Caleb? Um, I think he argues with people on TV. Oh my god. Now hold on a second, you wouldn't even be here without rectangles. Okay, well riddle me this, how many sides does a triangle have? No, we're not here to talk about how many sides a triangle has, don't try to change the subject. No, but just answer the question, how many sides does a triangle have? People have different opinions on that, I'm not gonna sit here and debate. What I do know is that rectangles have proven time and time again. Of course you would bring up rectangles, what I want you to do is admit that triangles have three sides, can you do well, that? Well obviously some people have different opinions on that, I've never counted the sides, I don't know anyone who's counted the size. That's willfully ignorant is what that is. I'm sorry, I don't think we should just blindly praise triangles without bringing up all the good that rectangles have to offer. Now we're gonna have to interrupt that right there. It seems like we have some breaking news. Some violence has broken out between rectangle supporters and triangle supporters in the downtown core. More on that in a second, right after this. James Politician claims to be pro-triangle, so how come he's historically voted for laws that are specifically anti-triangle? Why can't James Politician get his shapes in order? When I'm elected president, I intend to bring the people not only what they want, but what they deserve. Hexagons.